Now, this article is about Prince Philip, specifically about the Prince Philip movement. Have you heard of that before? No. No. Right. <laughs> I hadn't either. So, Vanuatu. Vanuatu. <laughs> Vanuatu. One of the islands called Tana. They have been worshipping, not worshipping, but revering Prince Philip for decades. Like a god? Yes, like a god. So, the people, they say the connection between the people on the island of Tanna and the prince is very strong. When he died, they were all in mourning. Um, they were going to be doing all these ceremonies and everything like that for a while to, to mourn him. They see him as a recycled descendant of a very powerful spirit or God that lives on one of their mountains. I did read another article which said, and this is back from the 70s, that said I think someone had, a warrior had left the island, run into the sea or something, left the island, and story goes that he went over to, he became, he turned into a pale man and went over to marry someone that was prosperous being the queen, right? So they saw Prince Philip as this pale man sitting at the right-hand side of the queen, or yeah. sitting, you know, alongside the queen, a powerful woman, and they believed that he was going to come back to them, basically. Uh, but this story says, the son of a mountain spirit travelled over the seas to a distant land. Mm. There he married a powerful woman and in time would return to them. Mm. They kind of said that they thought it was Prince Philip, but it sort of sank and became more concrete for them when he visited their town, their village, and he drank their kava. He he sort of participated in their ritual. Ritual. Yeah. And from then they're like, it's Prince Philip. That's it. And ever since then, and they told him ever since then, they have been, they they just love him. They feel a connection to him. They would send messages to him. He would send them pictures of himself. <laughs> um, well, can we see some of the pictures? So, is yeah, he, yeah, is yeah. he got his top off? Well, what's he godlike? <laughs> what, what's he doing? <laughs> what What is he doing? What kind of pictures is he sending? This was this was. What was he saying? <laughs> Do I look noble I'm enough? I'm doing my god duties. <laughs> I'm doing my God duties. I'll have to put it in here. I have a question for you all. Yes. Now. If and again, this is this is one of the movies as well. You see, if you stumbled upon a society for whatever reason, whatever, and you recognise that they were starting to see you as like a godlike person, do you become that god? Would you lean into it? Let's unless, be and, unless, and, well, wait, and let's, I'm just going to give this as well. If, even if you at the beginning started to be like, no, 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 but they still saw you as that. I think I would. So this is just like. <laughs> <laughs> let's be perfectly honest. I definitely would lean into it. I'd try and be humble though. There, there is like, no doubt. I, every time it, I'd be like, no, in, no, 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 too kind. In my no, mind. No, me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, I'd just be, I think you would if you continuously told them you're not and they continuously treated you like, but I'd be a kind God. I wouldn't be like a bad God. Guys, do you remember the scene on uh, Man in Black when he'd open up the locker and they'd go, hail jail, yeah. hail J, hail J. <laughs> that was hilarious. I don't remember that. The t- they're like yeah, the time they got like the, the lock was their world yeah. <laughs> 9037 and then isn't isn't that the, isn't that the end of the film when he then opens he's also in a locker yes yeah because yeah. he opens it and then you see yeah, yeah. I'm watching uh, did just, you see the pictures yeah I'm just because because this it, can I see the headline it says uh, the morning the death of their god right and I'm watching this series at the moment, American Gods. And like the gods that we have now. Look, the question was what came first, the gods or the followers? Oh. Okay. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. So 
was like so like so Thor is the god of thunder, right? Was there followers that created the the god of thunder, or was the the god of thunder there, and then he had followers? Like, did he create the followers? So, is this question for people who believe in the gods themselves? Well, or is this because uh, like a question against the the existence of the god? Oh no, there's no. It's just it's not. There's it's it's neither. I don't think it's just um like so people believed in the god of thunder, right? Before the god that we know now, yes. But they died off because their followers died off, and now there was new followers that follow another god. And th- anyways, this American gods, uh, this drama series is quite—it's unbelievable. Like it just makes you think. Because okay, so they're saying the gods now is social media, um, because uh, people worship social media in their own way. They're constantly on it, and they give it attention. Um, but before that. The God of Thunder used to get attention by people sacrificing stuff. And they would get attention, but their attention would die off and then a new God would come. Like, um, a Don? Not, uh, it's not a Donus. Um, anyways, the, qu- the question that stuck in my head was what came first, the God or the followers? Which was interesting. It was, it's a, like, I was like, what? Mm. It made me... Then that, so I guess the reason I asked that question is because to me, if the followers came first, then the god didn't exist. Yeah, the god didn't exist. If the followers came first, because yeah. otherwise the god had to be there for the. If the god existed, yeah. the god had to be there for the followers to follow it. Mm-hmm. If the followers came first, that means they made up the god. Mm-hmm. Like they turned something that wasn't godly into something. Yeah, godly. right. Yeah. See, yeah. But then, is it? Did they turn it okay, into? Okay, I'm. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. You, you, you guys have left me a little bit confused. <laughs> it was, yeah. Okay. So, like social media, for example, to use that example, that wouldn't. If the followers came first, they then turned social media into a god. Yeah. But social media already existed, and so that the social media was already there, and then the followers so came. The god came first, yeah. and then the followers came. Yeah. If social media never existed, or for in order for the followers to come first, they would all have to give their attention to something that wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah. So the God has to come first. That's why I was saying, is this a question of, are you saying, does God exist? Or no, no, like, no, no. It's, not, example, it's nothing like that. Because I was thinking about this from a, I was thinking about this um, yesterday, actually, because I saw someone made a post about, the Bible and they were saying how it's been like so many people, this is, this is like a Christian speaking. They're like so many people use a Bible to, um, to judge and control people rather than using it to uplift people. Mm. And then I was thinking, yeah, but the Bible was written by wealthy men after the time of Jesus. Of course it was used to control people. Like that was the entire purpose of the Bible was to control people. Mm. Um, Hmm. But then, but what happened? I, I I really I'm I'm really interested in what happened to the previous gods like voodoo and hoodoo, right? They were some sort of spiritual, but the, they're not practiced as much now. They don't get that much attention, even in the where in the origins of where it all started. The voodoo and hoodoos, um, it, it's it's a dying art. And I'm like, when was its so, pinnacle? And then how did that die off? And then how did the attention just all of a sudden go to a different focus? It's just, it's just really interesting how the rise and fall of gods. So there was gods before the gods we have now, but how, like they were at the peak and all of a sudden, how did they lose all the attention? Like at one point, did people just stop going, I don't want to believe in that God anymore. And then how did they create a new God for people oh. to focus on that God? And then they had their rise and fall. Hello. And then all of a sudden they went to another god. It was just. I can hear Cedar. Everyone's frozen. It was just interesting. Oh, Cedar's back. Oh, that's back. I think you're in that cow. Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I think. Cut up for a second on me. I think for why. I First of all, I don't think that's going to happen again. Oh. Like what you're talking about. Yeah. And I think the, the way to look at it is based on literature. Yeah. So if you think about. Things, ideas, 
um, in cultural behaviours and everything transcending generations comes down to the ability to transfer that information. Yeah. Like this is, so if you think like uh, Ricky Gervais famously said this about science versus the Bible, yeah. if, if yeah. you were to completely eradicate all literature and then start again, science would come back, yeah. religion wouldn't. It may come in a new form, but it wouldn't be the same yeah. as it was. Um, so if you take from a God standpoint, historically, people would have worshipped these gods, yeah. like in ancient history and everything. But there were these, there was a lot of gods. Yeah, yeah, fascinating. heaps. We were, there were a lot of different yeah. gods. Um, so there's this competition of which ones are actually going to be passed down from ideology anyway through generations. But then you start to look at who had the ability to write. Because if, if, if you look back to when the time of Jesus, nine, I think it's 98, 99% of people were illiterate. Like, right. there's not many people who can read and write. And realistically the people who could read and write were wealthy because that's how they got the means to learn to read and write and they were men right. because that was who society deemed was able to read and write so then you look at now during that time and through that time of transcendence through from old gods to new gods who had the power to then communicate their belief system Better. to the next generations yeah, right. So the reason why Christianity is one of the most powerful or most most followed religions in the world today is because they colonized Christians colonized most of the world. Yeah, like they, they literally went across the globe telling people this is the religion, this is the god, and then they were they had more wealth and more ability to transfer that through literature. Yeah. Whereas if you think about like ancient Roman gods or Greek gods or whatever. There is literature, but there's few and far between. Yeah. There's only a handful of people who have written about those things. Mm. Um, so it's that, and that's why I think it won't change now, because the ones that have made it from sparse literature to today, where there's an abundance of literature, are only going to be written about more and more yeah. and more. Yeah. Like no one's going to now bring out a new god in them write about it because unless like there would have to be a literal divine intervention that was witnessed by so many people yeah that then they would go well clearly there's a new god there's actual evidence in our time which would be documented of a new god yeah. whereas documentation historically just wasn't there I, I i think i think you'd really enjoy this uh drama series american gods actually think about it now it's kind of it's kind of you'd like it too cj it's like superhero-ish, it's kind of, and it gets you thinking as well.